channel first before we begin don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at camps i am a crochet let's begin so we're going to start off with a simple slip knot this is a very easy stitch to make we're going to make a headband go ahead and once you make your slip knot go ahead and chain two And then once you've chained two, go ahead and skip that first stitch and go into your next stitch with two single crochets. There's one. And two. So now once you've made your two single crochets, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to continue on and this time we're going to go into the back loop of your stitches. If you do not know how to make a single crochet in the back loop, I do have a tutorial that you can check out for beginners. So in your first stitch, you're going to put two single crochets into the back loop. And then into your next single crochet, you'll place another two single crochets into the back loop we're now increasing that is why we're adding an extra single crochet into that stitch so now that you've made your two single crochets in both of those stitches chain one and turn now we're going to go back into that first stitch with two single crochets into the back loop. In your next stitch, you're only going to put one single crochet into that back loop. And then two single crochets, I mean one single crochet into the next one. And then two single crochets in the back loop into the last one so you started off with the two single crochets into the back loop you did one in each of the next two and then in your final stitch you will make two single crochets so as you can see it's already beginning to form that triangle so let's go ahead and continue i'm going to chain one and turn my work again now we're just repeating so for every row in the next stitch the very first stitch you're going to make two single crochets into the back loop and for the stitches in between you will make one single crochet into that back loop so there's one move on to your next stitch make another single crochet in the back loop move on to the next stitch make one single crochet in the back loop and into the next stitch one single crochet in the back loop and in that last stitch you will put two single crochets into the back loop again we are increasing on each end so your first end will have two double crochet of two single crochets and you will end with two single crochets in the back loop chain one and turn your work so that is what your pattern is as you go up further you can make this as wide as you want to. It's completely up to you. So again, when you turn your work, when you chain one and turn your work, you will put two single crochets in that first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch across. When you get to that last stitch, you will put two single crochets into that last stitch. So I'm going to continue making this pattern here. Again, I'm going to put a single crochet here. A single crochet here and two single crochets into the last stitch it might be a little difficult to see but just look at the top of your stitch you see those two bars that form a B and put your two single crochets 
into that back loop there. And again, we're increasing. So you're just repeating these rows until you get it as wide as you would like for it to be. I'm going to continue making my rows. And when I come back, I should have about 12 or 13 rows left. And I'll show you what to do from here. But remember, you want to put two single crochets in the back loop into the first loop. And then across, you put one single crochet into each stitch in the back loop. And then when you get to your last stitch, you will make two single crochets in the back loop. Chain one, turn your work, and repeat. And I will be back. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm getting, it's getting larger, and I'm just continuing on from here. Chain one, turn your work, and go ahead and begin making your single crochets. Begin with two in the first stitch, one all the way across, and then one, two in the last stitch, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and this is what I have so far. I think I have about 13 or 14 rows here. But again, you put as many rows as you want, continuing e increasing until it is as big as you want it to be. So now we're going to continue on. We're going to start off and we're going to make our way down the sides of our project. We want to put some single crochets going around just to finish it off, give it a nice finished look on that edge. So basically, you're just going to take your hook and go into each of those single crochet rows and make a single crochet. And just continue all the way over. Do not skip stitches. You don't want your stitches to be too far apart. You want them to come together. So continue on making these single crochets going down the side of this headband. And I will, I'm going to speed up this time. And I'll be back when I'm done. <laughs> Okay, so I am back and now I am at the bottom, technically what is the bottom of your scarf. I'm going to go right into this center chain here, this center stitch with three single crochets. And then I'll just continue working my way down the other side of this scarf. So just go ahead and continue doing that, making your single crochets all the way around. You're going to go into each of these single crochet rows on the side and make your single crochet. Remember, don't skip any stitches. Just go into each row with a single crochet and I'll be back. Okay, so we are at the corner of this scarf. Now, when you get to the corner, for each corner, you want to put three single crochets into that corner. Make sure you're going through both of those loops and put your three single crochets here. This is two. For whatever reason, I was having a really hard time with this and the stitches aren't tight. And this is three. So now we're at the front portion and we're just going to go into each stitch and make one single crochet into each of those stitches. So I'm going to do that and I will meet you at the other side of the project. Okay, so now we're at the other end again, and again, you will see those three single crochets go into that middle single crochet of that three clusters and make three single crochets into that same stitch. We want to do this because we don't want our project to fold in or to begin to curl. So now I'm just going to go up the other side. And I'll meet you at the beginning again. Okay, so now I am back at the beginning. And these those are the three single crochets we see here that we did in the previous row. So I'm making my single crochet into that first one. And into that middle single crochet, 
I'm going to make three single crochets. That's one, two, three. Now just continue on making your way over and I'll be back. So now we're at the other end, back to another corner and we're at those three double crochets. So you put your uh, single crochet into the first one and then three single crochets into that middle one. This is the three clusters that you make in one stitch when you get to the corner. When you get to that middle cluster, the second single crochet of that three cluster, you're going to make three single crochets into that middle stitch. Now just keep making your way across with some single crochets and I'll be back. Okay, so now we're back at the very first corner. I'm going to go into this next single crochet with one single crochet and I'm going to chain four. Once you have chained four, go ahead and skip three stitches and in your fourth stitch, make a single crochet and then chain four again. So now we're just adding some nice edging on here. Once you've made your four uh, chains, go ahead and skip three stitches and in the fourth stitch, make a single crochet and chain four. So that's for the pattern. That's the pattern for this section right here. Go ahead and continue on. When you make your single crochet, chain four and then skip three stitches. And so I'm going to keep going until I get to the other end and I will see you there. Remember, make your single crochet, chain four, skip three stitches and go into the fourth stitch with a single crochet and then chain four again and keep repeating and I'll be back. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row and we're going to round that corner. So I put my last single crochet here and I'm going to chain five instead of four. We want to round that corner easily. So now you have your three single crochets. Go into, you want to skip three, go into that fourth stitch and then make another five chains. So make your single crochet and then chain five again. Now again. Go ahead and skip three stitches in that fourth stitch. Go ahead and make your single crochet. And that's how you work this side here. And then instead of chaining five, you're going to chain four as you make your way along the sides of your project. Chain four, skip three, go into the fourth stitch with a single crochet. Chain four again. When you get closer to the end, I will be back or rather when I get closer to the end, I will be back. So I'm going to make my chain four, skip three in the fourth stitch, make your single crochet and then chain four and I'll be back. Okay. So we're at the corner again, go ahead and chain five, skip three single crochets in that fourth one, make a single crochet chain five again and just keep making your way around just like you did on all uh, the other corner so when you make your single crochet now we're going into the next row again so make your five chains and go right in the middle of that next stitch there that center that hole there and make a single crochet and then chain four two, three, four, and then go into the next section, those four chain right into that section there with a single crochet. And you're just going to keep repeating, doing that all the way across. You can do these uh, as many rows as you want to. I just want to make sure that you see what it is I'm doing here. And then again, I chain four and go right into that next chain from the previous row with a single crochet and chain four and just keep doing this across and I will meet you back at the beginning. 
Okay, so I'm going to stop for a moment and show you where I am. I'm now at that corner again. So now again, this time when we go into this stitch with a single crochet, we're going to chain five again so that we can round that corner without it curling in. So go ahead and make your four chains. Go into that stitch with a single crochet. And then chain five, three, four, five. And then go right into that next single crochet with another single crochet. So when you get right to that tip there, instead of going into the next chain with a single crochet, we're going to put a single crochet right here in this stitch here before we get to the chain stitch. So put a single crochet here. And then go ahead and chain five. And then go ahead into the next chain that you made from the previous row and make another single crochet. Now, as you're going down the side, you're going to make four chains instead of five. We're only making five to round that corner. Go into the next chain with a single crochet and just repeat these rows again. So make your single crochet, chain four, go into the next section with a single crochet, chain four again, and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so I am back, and now we're going into that five chain. Go ahead and chain five. Go into that next section with a single crochet. And chain five again. And then go right into that next section with a single crochet again. We're just simply going into those chain sections that we made in the previous row. Make your single crochet and then chain four. And then just keep making your way across. So I'm going to keep repeating my pattern here. Single crochet, chain four. And then single crochet into the next five, four chains from the previous row. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. I'm going to chain four and then make my final single crochet here. And then continue and make your slip stitch into this last single crochet here and we're done so now if you want to you can continue going around with your chains just remember when you get to that corner section you're going to chain five instead of four you make this as wide as you need to and this is what she looks like All of those single crochets in the back loop and then we came around with some single crochets and a lot of chaining I think it looks really really cute so let's go ahead and continue on making our ties so you can tie this around your head it's a pretty simple step to make and I'll be back okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this excess yarn off so that we can start um, sewing in our excess here. I'm going to grab my darning needle and I'll be back. So now let's go ahead and add our yarn, put our yarn through our darning needle here so that we can begin uh, weaving in this end here. So now you can do this however you want to do it. I usually just go in and out of stitches. I'll take that first one and go through this single crochet and then make my way back through to the other side. And I'm just going to take and weave in my ends here and I will be back so that we can continue. Okay, so I am done weaving in my ends and this is what she looks like. I really like this pattern. I kind of made it up as I went along. 
but you see those corners there and you see everything is nice and even and it's not curling in. That's why we make those five chains so that it doesn't curl inward. Okay, so now I am making my strands for the end so you can make your ties and I'm just going to chain about 20 I think I did 20 chains you don't really have to make it that long because you're gonna have two ends on here so just make the chain as long as you want to I think I did about 30 chains I can't remember but again you make it as long as you need to um, it doesn't have to be extremely long just long enough so that you can tie it in the back um, and still be comfortable so I'm gonna keep making my chains and I will be back okay so I'm done with my chain you can make it longer if you want to or add some single crochets to the row but I'm just gonna tie off here and then I'm gonna go ahead and make my other strand just make sure that when you make your strand that you make it long enough so you can weave it in so I have this single crochet right here on the side of my work and this is where I'm going to put my tie so just go ahead and put your yarn through your darning needle and then just go right into that single crochet with your darning needle I usually go through the back and pull it through the back don't pull the hole don't pull your chain through as well just pull through your strand that you have in your darning needle don't come too far up and then just wrap it around and I usually go and wrap around and then go back through the back end just so that it's more secure um, you can do it this way however you want to do it however you feel like it's going to be more secure you do it that way but I'm just going to keep going around coming through the back and doing that on each side of that chain so that it's nice and secure so I'm going to add both of my straps onto here and I will be back when I'm done okay I just want to show you really quickly how I am uh, using my darning needle and weaving in my ends as you can see I split that yarn and I just did that so make sure that it's extra secure and then you can go through the rest of your stitches just go all the way across and then come back in the other direction and again this is just for security so that you don't have to put any knots in there when you're done you won't see all those bulky little knots they aren't necessary if you weave this in properly so I'm going to continue with this and I'll be back when I am completed okay so I am all done and I've weaved in both of my ties on each side I'm just gonna fold this really quickly so we can see what that looks like and as you can see everything is lined up nice and even my ties are nice and even to go on to the back to tie onto the back and again you can make these as long or as short as you want to and I love how this pattern came out I actually made it up as I was going along um, there's a few strands in here I'm just clipping those off but she came out really really nice um, as I said earlier if you want to continue with that pattern with the chain pattern you can just go ahead and keep going around but remember you want to make this as wide as you want to so that it can fit your head properly all those pretty edges those chains on the edge gives it a really nice detail so that's going to come to an end of our tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.